Happy Friday! And this is Seleni with Art Glimpse of Time. Today I want to share with you one of the steps of my, of my art creation process. The first step usually is to decide on the subject. And this one I have already decided that I'm just going to keep going with my um, cat series. And I have already created one. Now, let me show you because I don't, you may not remember. That's Luca. And today I'm going to look at the photos and choose one about Lissy. She is going to be the next art, art piece on the series. Um, so Luca and Lissy are my son's two cats and the three of them spent about four or five months with me last year <laughs> and I had a ball with those cats. They are really funny. So when I decided to create a series, I had no doubt that I was going to use the photos I took um, last year of them. So I have picked some of the photos because there are 104, 116, more than 100 and I'm not going to put you through all of them. So let me show you just the ones I had picked already and um, see if I can, you know, reach a conclusion of which one I'm going to use. So here are some of the photos that I took while they were spending some time with me. Right. And let me show you the ones I am considering um, to do this. So this is the first one I'm considering um, but just because, you know, she's she looks so cute and um, with the tongue sticking out and all of that. But it doesn't have her whole body. And so that's why I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, at least not this time anyway, because it doesn't... It, and part of her that it's in that photo, so I'm not quite sure. The next one that I'm considering is this one, and I like that because you know this one she she's all in the photo, and I will have to create something around her. I'm not gonna use you know the same all this that is around her. I'm gonna create something new, same way I did with um, Luca. I didn't. At least something different. Um, I like this one because it's like it's interesting, you know. She's just sitting there looking at something. It's kind of a mysterious. Um, so I will probably do this one maybe later. I plan to make a couple of artworks of, on these um, in this series. I like this one too because she looks like a fur ball. They're all tucked in, just barely looking. Um, and again, it will be different. Um, like all of these will be different and then I think that I have one more um, right. and so this one is my favorite um, even though she doesn't look quite black in this one I think the because of the lighting it was she looks there's a lot of a brown um, she does have a, some browns on her that is true but this this shows even more so um, that's the one thing, but it just, I don't know, just, it's so proper, so, so that's probably the one I, I will do, um, and I have to make up, see, fi figure out what I'm gonna do, you know, around her, um, to make it, you know, more interesting, um, for the artwork, you know, what, um, maybe put some walls behind here. I don't know where I'm going to sit her. Uh, I have to decide that. Uh, the main thing right now is to decide um, which photo and I'm really um, leaning towards this one. Uh, let me see if I can find uh, Luca. The one I use for Luca and show you what did I do? What did I do with my Luca? Okay, this one. So this one was the original photo for Luca and I didn't do any of this right um, I created something different around him the photo, the website. see this is how it's I mean I did take the the structure you know the what the walls so that helped me with um, perspective so I did it but I create something behind a different kind of a like a short wall with a little bit of sky and you know just something like that so same way I had to think I'll have to think about so something for Lisi which I will it uh, 
And so this is it. This is the other process, the other part of my process, which is um, thinking about, you know, which photo to use. All right, so now you guys know what is the second step of my process, which is um, looking at photos. I don't know how to draw. Uh, that's one thing. I, if I knew how to do drawings, that's what I'll do, which a lot of artists uh, do. I'm not good at drawing. So usually I find a photo um, either that I took or somebody I know uh, I took the photo at least for as a basis to start. You know, it, get, it helps me with with the composition, helps me with the um, perspective. And so from here, I will probably print um, the photo I choose and um, do the tracing and then go from there. I'd be two or three weeks, but I will keep you guys posted on the whatever progress I make for this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great, have a great weekend and ciao for now.